Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be discussing the problem equal parity sum of uh, December circuits 2022. So uh, let's begin with this problem uh, equal parity sum. You are given an array A that will be containing n integers and you can apply the operation at most once. Choose a subarray from i to j where i is uh, less than or equal to j and we are going to multiply minus 1 to all the elements of the subarray. Find if it is possible to make the sum of the integers on the odd indices of A is equal to the sum of integers on the even indices. Okay, so uh, we need to find out the whether we are able to do that efficiently. Since uh, n is going to be 5 into 10 raised to the power 5, we need to have either O of n or O of n log n type of solution. O of n squared solution will not work. Okay, so let's try to understand this problem in detail. You have this array a1, a2, and it is going to an. Okay, so uh, let me just write down the complete array that would be better a1, a2, a3, then we have a4, then we have a5. Okay, so we need to find a sub array. Uh, like, uh, uh, first we need to check whether the sum of the elements on the odd indices, which is nothing but a1 plus a2, sorry, a1 plus a3 plus a5 is equal to uh, some of the numbers present on the even indices. If it is equal, I can say, yeah, we can just convert that. Otherwise, uh, we need to uh, apply the operation on, the, on any subarray at most once. Okay. So, uh, if it is equal, we are done. We will just print yes and we just say, yeah, we can just, uh, we can just have the number of some of the numbers on odd indices uh, will be equal to the sum of the numbers on even indices. Okay. So what if the value is not equal to like this is not equal to this a24. So we have to pick any subarray like the subarray can be anything. And we uh, like we are just going to do this operation for only for uh, one time. Okay. So uh, let's take an example first and let's try to understand how the things will work. Suppose we have the array 1, 5, minus 2, 3 and minus 1. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this 1, 5. Mm -hmm. Uh, then minus 2, 3 and minus 1. Minus 2, 3 and minus 1. Okay. So let's try to find out the sum of the elements on the odd indices, which is nothing but 1, minus 2 and minus 1, which is nothing but minus 2. You, you will get that. And then sum of the numbers on even indices, which is nothing but 8. Now, obviously, minus 2 is not equal to 8. Okay. So we have to just uh, multiply minus 1 to any subarray okay of the actual array so that uh, you know the sum of the elements on odd indices will become equal to the sum of the elements on even indices mm. so let's try to multiply minus 1 to this subarray so you will get the final array as 1 5 2 minus 3 and minus 1 okay so let's find out the sum of the indices uh some of the numbers on odd indices which is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus minus 1 which is coming out to be 2 and what will be the sum of the even indices 5 plus minus 3 which is coming out to be 2 now you can see 2 is equal to this like both the sum are actually equal so you can see yes there exists a subarray uh, after which if we multiply minus 1 to that subarray uh, we can have the sum of the elements on odd indices will be equal to sum of the elements on even indices so how do we check that efficiently okay so, uh, suppose we have this array, uh, let's say again, I'm taking the same array 1, 5, minus 2, 3 and minus 1. Okay. So, uh, let's write down the odd sum, odd sum, which is nothing but sum of the elements on odd indices. Let's denote it as odd. And then we have even sum. Let's denote it as even. Okay. So, let's find out the difference actually. Let's call it as DIFF which is nothing but odd minus even. So if difference is equal to zero, then we can see here, we don't have to do anything because some of the elements on odd indices are actually equal to the sum of the elements on even indices. So what if this difference value is not equal to zero? Okay, so we have to deal with that case. If difference is not equal to zero, okay. So again, we have this subarray 1, my, 1, 5, minus 2, 3 and minus 1. Okay. Suppose we pick up any subarray, like any subarray, uh, let's say uh, any subarray like this one. 
and we uh, like i'm talking in, about in general case suppose this sub array has odd sum uh, odd sum minus even sum is equal to d okay uh, remember that i am talking about the current sub array okay so it's better to call, call it as odd sum dash minus event sum dash equal to d okay so when we multiply let me write down when we multiply when we multiply this uh, you know this sub array with minus 1 this sub array by minus 1 what will happen the like uh, the this value d will be will become minus d obviously because if you just uh, multiply all the values with minus 1 uh, you will get the even sum minus odd sum which will be nothing but minus d so if you're not uh, if you want something called as proof let's say you uh, what is the odd sum for this uh, array this sub array which is nothing but minus 2 okay and uh, what is the even sum for this one which is nothing but 8 so if you will just subtract this minus 2 minus you will get as minus 10 okay so if you just negate all the signs of this sub array uh, it would become minus 5 2 and uh, minus 3 so what is the odd sum which is the, uh, nothing but 2 and even sum which is nothing but minus 8 so odd sum minus minus 8 which is nothing but 10 you can see these two have opposite signs Okay, so that's what we are talking about. When we multiply this sub array with minus 1, you will get this uh, minus, uh, you will get the sum as minus d, which is nothing but odd sum minus even sum. Okay, so uh, the value uh, by which this uh, actual sum is going to be decreased will be nothing but d minus minus d uh, it is equal to 2d. So uh, the actual sum actual sum will be uh, will be decreased by 2d value okay uh, remember that we are talking about the actual sum which is not ac uh, not the sum of the array which is actually the let me write down actual sum is the sum of odd differences minus even differences at each index okay so uh, this actual sum is uh, the same sum that we have got over here uh, like uh, this 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 is actually the actual sum that i am talking about over here so uh, actual sum is nothing but if you find out the sum of all the odd indices elements minus sum of all even indices elements this is our, our going to be actual sum which we will denote it by difference okay uh, let me just move out to the next page so difference is the actual difference that we need to cover so this value is actually uh, sum of all odd indices minus sum of all even indices okay and suppose we have chosen an sub array we have chosen a sub array whose uh, odd indices sum minus even indices sum is coming out to be d and if we just negate it by uh, like if you just multiply all the elements by minus 1 this uh, this uh, sum this difference sum will be decreased by minus d okay so it would uh, like this uh, entire difference will be actually decreased by 2d and this must cover this difference must hold okay so why i'm just writing down that this 2d equal to difference must hold because uh, let me explain you this in the uh, like entire scenario how this will work this actual this difference is actually the sum of the elements present at odd positions minus sum of the elements present at even positions now suppose we have chosen a sub array which has the difference d which is equal to again sum s dash of that sub array where uh, we have the odd elements minus s dash of even elements note that uh, this s dash denotes that we are talking about this sub array only okay so this d is actually this difference and when we multiply it by minus 1 all the elements are multiplied with minus 1 so it becomes minus d okay like the sum uh, for that sub array becomes minus d okay 
so uh, the value by which this difference like uh, we have this difference okay like initially where some of the elements present at odd positions minus some of the elements present at even positions this is decreased by the value which is actual value is d and final value is minus d so it is decreased by 2d okay now 2d must be equal to difference then only we can have sum of odd elements positions uh, must be equal to sum of e even element positions okay so 2d must be equal to this difference value okay so it means that we have to find a sub array uh, it means that we have to find a sub array whose uh, whose uh, odd indices elements minus even indices elements value must be equal to this difference by 2 okay where difference is sum of odd elements of the actual array minus sum of even elements of the actual array okay now the problem boils down to very simple approach we need to just check if there exists a sub array uh, which satisfy this condition okay where d and differences i have already told you the de uh, definition of all these two things so we can just uh, simply check it out with the help of prefix sum where we will just build up the prefix sum prefix sum of array of odd i minus even i okay so we will build a prefix sum of array of odd i minus even i at each specific position and we will maintain a set we will maintain a set uh, okay so uh, we will maintain a set to check it out whether uh, we have a sub array whose uh, d value is equal to difference by 2 okay so this is very simple to check so let's head out to the code to check it out how this can be uh, done efficiently Okay, you can see all the test cases has been passed. Okay, so we have this array A and we have this odd and we have this even. And we also have this difference which will uh, have nothing but difference of i is equal to odd of i minus even of i. Okay, so odd of i is uh, uh, the value uh, at the ith index. Okay, so if it is an odd number, you can see if uh, i is an odd number, mean, uh, it means that it is an odd position. We will just uh, make odd of i as ai, otherwise it will remain as 0. Uh, otherwise, if i is even, it means that it is an even position. So, even of i is equal to ai. So, we will just find out the difference of i for each specific position. Okay, from i from 1 to n. And also, we will have this prefix of difference for this difference array. Okay, so this is a difference array. And we will just uh, find out the prefix of difference for this difference array which is nothing but prefix sum difference of i minus 1 plus difference of i. So, uh, when this prefix sum difference for the nth position is equal to 0, it means that sum of uh, odd elements, sum of odd position elements is equal to sum of even position elements. So, we will just print yes and we are done. Okay. Otherwise, we will try to find out this uh, value of d, where d is nothing but difference by 2. So, it means that this difference must be a even number so we'll just find out whether like we'll just check it out if this difference is an odd number so we uh, we are not going to have some suitable sub array so we'll just uh, print no and we'll just uh, return otherwise we'll use a set to just keep track whether we can have a sub array uh, which have which is going to have the target value target value is nothing but d uh, small d which is nothing but difference by 2 that's what we are just doing over here prefix some difference by 2 okay so we'll just iterate from 1 to n i will we will just check if prefix some difference i of i minus target exist it means that there is a sub array uh, whose uh, sum of odd elements minus sum of even elements is equal to this target value okay so if you'll just multiply that sub array with minus 1 you will just uh, have the uh, difference of uh, odd elements sum of odd elements positions minus even elements position will be equal to zero if that value exists we'll just print yes otherwise we'll just uh, check it out for the next position note that you need to insert this prefix of difference of i for each position also and if everything goes well and we just we are not we are not going to have this value being satisfied it means that there doesn't exist a sub array okay 
so uh, also if you check out for this example if you negate this sub array starting from 3 to 4 it would become 2 and minus 3 you will get this answer as yes so for each test case uh, like you can see this works in o of n log n time and this space complexity is o of n so if you have any doubts you can reach out to me through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video